This is Mike Finnerty of the Sure West Sports Show, and the following clip has been brought to you by the Sure West Sports Show, airing on SureWestSports.com. Well, just when you thought the high school basketball season was over, we bring you the annual Optimus All-Star Games from Center High School on Saturday, where seniors from the North and South squads look to not only entertain the crowds in this annual showcase, but to put on their best performance in what is the final time these players will lace them up for their respective schools. First up was the girls game and leading the South squad was Sac High head coach Michelle Masseri and for the North squad it would be Delaro head coach Mike Takayama. The South scored the first basket of the game on this three pointer just moments into the contest but after that the North would go on what would be an absolute roll. A layup by Delaro's Madeline Campbell gave the North a one point lead and that was followed by a jumper from Wood Creek's Jolene Chanko. And then with this three pointer by Bella Vista's Kelly Logue the North would now have a lead of 9-3, but they weren't done yet. The roll continued for the North as El Camino's Laurel Donaworth knocks down the open shot, making it look just so easy. And when Campbell hit from three-point land right here, that would make it a 16-0 run for the North and a 16-3 lead just five minutes into the game. The South wouldn't be quiet for long as St. Francis's Brianna Charles gets a layup plus the and one, cutting the North lead to 18-10. The South comeback continued throughout the second half, and with this steal by Sakai's Fantasia Hilliard, which would lead to an easy basket with 9.22 left to play in the first half, the South was now within three of the lead at 24-21, and all of a sudden, we got a new ball game, folks. The North put the break on the South rally as Loke scores here to push the North lead back up to nine points. A Bill Ober jumper with five minutes left had the North up by six, but the South, they charged back, and by the time the half was over, the South would complete the comeback and take a one-point lead at the break of 42-41. The second half of this game was equally as entertaining, and just like the first half, the North made an early run as Crystal Sewell of Delaro scores down low thanks to the nice tip assist from Bradshaw Christian's Jordy Smith as the North took a 54-42 lead. There was a lot of nice defense played in this game as well, and watch Delaro's Obert block this three-point attempt Nice play. Bella Vista's Leah Parrish comes through with the impressive bank shot here to stay up by eight. But the South went on a roll again, and when Jolie Slimkako of St. Francis nailed this three, it got the South to within one. They would eventually take the lead 68-65, and looking like they might get this one. The South was looking really good when Dakota McLarnon of Oak Ridge connected on the three to go up by four points late. But the North outscored the South 12-3 in the final two minutes, which included a pair of baskets by Antelope's Taylor Hawkins late in the game, and that would prove to be the difference as the North prevails 95-90 in a very entertaining game from start to finish. North MVP honors went to Crystal Sewell, who had 17 points, while Charles took the South MVP honors with 26 points. After the game, North coach Mike Takayama of Deloro was elected to the Optimus Hall of Fame and was honored with a nice plaque. And of course, after the game, we spoke to both MVPs, as well as to Coach Takayama, to talk about the big day. Well, Coach Takayama, uh, Optimus winner, and then of course, you were given an award at the, after the end of the game uh, for a Hall of Fame Optimus coach. Uh, talk about your thoughts. I think you were a little surprised. Oh, definitely, I'm very surprised, you know. It, Obviously, we don't do it for the awards, uh, for the kids, and it was, I guess by the sound of it, North hasn't won for a while, so it was just nice to get the W for the North. Uh, we had a great time, and but um, you know, on the other side, what an honor! I I had not expected that at all. Yeah, and um, here you are in your final game, really, with this group of girls. You're over at Campbell Sewell, probably forgetting someone, but it seemed like you had the whole team out there. Nice way to go out. Uh, no doubt. I mean, they've carried me on their back all year, so it's nice for them to get me through this one, too. Yeah, right. uh, but no, what a great group of good kids. Our girls, the kids from the other schools, we had a great time. And uh, you know what? That's what high school basketball is all about. And it's nice to have our, our North team seniors go out on a win. Well, Crystal Sewell, you're the North MVP of the Optimist game. Great way to go out for your high school career. Definitely. It was a lot of fun. Was it nice being with the girls, you know, Campbell, Bobert, oh, yeah. and you're, I mean, you guys have been together for so long, you get to go out on a winning note, and you have a good game as well. 
What did you have to do differently for an Optimus game? Eh? Tell me about that. Um, we just had to learn how to read the other players, but it wasn't very hard because there's a lot of talent around here, and um, it was just fun. We knew where each other were going, and uh, it was just a blast. You guys got up 18-5, to five, then they came back. They took a lead, 42-41 at halftime. What does Mike say to you guys at halftime for a game like that? Uh, he just told us to do better on defense. Uh, he told us to get the rebound and just get up the court, and he thinks that's how we're going to win, and it totally worked, paid off, and we got a win under our belt. So. Yeah. All right, Bianca Charles, uh, South MVP for the Optimus game. I talked to Crystal Sula. Hey, oh, yeah. nice way to go out for you girls. Yeah, it really was. It was a good game. So you got down early, 18, 16, 3 or 18, 5, and what were you guys thinking at that point? I don't know. I was just thinking, like, we can't lose this game, like, because we had a lot of practices, and, like, I felt like we had really good chemistry, and then we came out. I was like, oh, where did all our chemistry go? I was like, no, guys, we got to get it back because I really didn't want to lose, but... It's a good game, so. So any thoughts? It's final time you get to put the St. Francis Duke uniform on, or well, part of it anyway. Is that really sunk in? Yeah, it, it really has. Like, it's like over. Like, now it's like real. Um, before the game, Jolice, Ellie, and Beth, we all do our little, like, handshake. And we were just thinking, like, this is the last time we're ever going to do this as, like, St. Francis seniors. So it, it is sinking in. It's real now.